This is uh, Joseph from Beyond the Hut Dweller. Um, Auni, I hope your name is pronounced. Uh, one thing I have to start out with is I, it really is sad that English language is not as full as the Greek language. Um, I realized you were citing uh, Corinthians 13, uh, and I like the way you used it. I really did. Um, the word uh, for love, the Greeks had many words for love, and the, the three main ones that are used uh, are agape, philia, and eros. There are other types like pragma and different types like that. Uh, the word that's used in Corinthians 13, 1 Corinthians 13, is uh, agape. Uh, it's actually translated in some of the older translations as charity uh, and even some charitable love. Uh, this is actually one topic <laughs> uh, where me and you might disagree on, although I don't know. Uh, for me, uh, at least for the world view that I have, I, I, it's actually strange. I think we kind of went in different directions in this, so I understand where you're coming from. Uh, I've come to see that uh, well, I must start off with this way. Uh, if I ever uh, in relationships that I've had over, after 25, I'd have to say, not 25 after the age of 25. Um, I've seen it as as a a weakness, as a just as a man, as offensive to wait. A man can't keep his pants on, because most of the time it is it's fleshly desires, and it's uh, it brings a lot of shame, and it's it's a stab in the back to the other person unless you unless you establish that right away. I always said I would call somebody up and tell you, you know, it's over. Um, and not, because uh, it just, you know, it, I, I believe in strength and discipline. Um, one thing that I agree with is that uh, many times in the Orthodox Church, if somebody cheats on their spouse and they come to the priest and they confess their sins, the priest will instruct them, do not tell the other spouse. Why cause them all that undue pain? You're not allowed, you know. You go and confess this thing for you to feel better, and you, you don't, con you're not considering the other person's emotions, you know. Just if it's, if it's one time thing, do not tell them. Uh, which I actually thought was a very comforting thing. Uh, I have to disagree with Richard Dawkins too, just in the fact that uh, in Western society, you say uh, exclusively till death do us part, and you make that arrangement, and it is uh, an ultimate betrayal in that sense of what you just run against the back of somebody else. And also, I don't think love is selfish. Uh, one must make sacrifices for love to happen. You can't just say, well, you have to get used to me or I have to. I mean, uh, people think compromise is such a bad thing, and I don't think there needs to be compromise if you actually find somebody compatible. I always like the Eastern view of you don't marry the person you love, you love the person you marry. Uh, love is humble. It doesn't, you know, I find it funny that um, people with a progressive, a so-called progressive view, and I'm not saying you have this view, would be so stringent on love, but if somebody were to go out and um, deal drugs or use math, that's seen as, oh, you know, when there's no real rational thing, uh, one thing I would say is we never should rise above our nature. We should live in harmony with it. I'm more of kind of a Tao outlook, a Taoist, um, because we can't. Uh, both Dawkins and uh, Christopher Hitchens have said, like religion, it's, uh, it's ineradicable. Uh, I am not so much a faithful believer as that I can't. It's, it's, something, so, it's something unnatural and undarwinian. Uh, to move away from certain ingrained rituals that have been ingrained in us for at least 10,000 years. I mean, you can see the old Vedic hymns. 
uh, which many believe date back to that and even parts of Zoroastrianism. Uh, the there are there are certain things where uh, to try to eradicate them, it's just not it, it's just foolish. A discipline path is a great path. Now keep in mind, I if you watch any of my videos about the transgendered people, I, I know in no way have a backwards view of love. Or do I think monogamy works for everyone and anyone? Uh, but there are people when you join yourself to somebody and you say with passion and with uh, with devotion and you you are starting a family and you are in those cultural bonds um, that to just go against somebody without considering their feelings. And that's where I think there is no love and I think there is no selfishness. If both parties are for it, um, in that way I'm a libertarian. I wouldn't say, you know, no, or that's not possible. I know that we look in the, uh, in definitely the Old Testament, we see that the common mode of marriage for most of human history was polygamy. Uh, now that being said, uh, there is something that is very Darwinistic and it, it does seem sexist and um, you as a progressive woman might take it as sexist is uh, it is far more natural for there to be uh, I, I forget the the exact word for it but polyandry is definitely the less common one because of a man and the genetics they spread and because if you have one man and many women the genetics are certain if you have uh, a man with or a woman with many men it's not and we there is no getting around these things and I don't th I think we can to some extent uh, try to do better and try to be more open-minded but I think we have to come down to our own physical nature and there are some things where uh, it is more rational for the seemingly illogical to reign <laughs> Uh, this is why I agree so much with the Satanic Bible because it takes an atheist attitude, but it also says, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who are you to think that you you know best, or you can think your way out of the area of of these certain things?" Uh, so these bonds, I think, especially if you're devoted to somebody for a very long time, and from the outset you said uh, monogamy and things like this. Uh, that is very dishonorable and unloving to just turn around behind somebody's back or even to say to them, I, I have to go to this other person now and you you need to accept it. Um, I see the dark side of that coin. And uh, how many times is it really true love? I mean, if you're having a fling with somebody, uh, usually it's not. I can, understood, I can understand more if you meet somebody and there's a common bond and then there's a waiting, a silent urging between people, very romantic, and and I really do like that kind of sense of you you long for somebody, but you have your roles, you know, at least for a period of time instead of just you know, because I do think these things should mean something. Now I don't know if anything I said exactly disagrees with uh, your theory, but I I think that we have to take those things into account, especially. Um, if somebody is married and does have a family, because how loving or compassionate it is to say, well, um, this thing that we have been ingrained with in our society and our culture, and in some way our genetics, because we know culture and uh, our choices in the long term do have effects on genetics, uh, how are we to just say, okay, uh, you know, and in this context, and I think in Western society, it, it winds up being dirty, whereas in Eastern society, it doesn't. And people say, well, that's that's terrible. <laughs> Again, that's kind of the way it is. Uh, and I do have to say there is a guilty thing about me that I, I, I'm more happy that uh, a woman says this than a guy, kind of. Um, but... Uh, again, I guess that's kind of the alluring part or whatever. Uh, again, yeah, Eastern societies and societies that actually have this, but uh, there must be sacrifice and sometimes grave sacrifice uh, 
if you if your wife let's say gets crippled and can't have sex with you anymore uh do you leave her do you immediately go out and get another woman do you say well you know here here's a couple thousand dollars now you go be go be alone now uh and i think we really have to take this into account um now that being said my own uh desires of sexuality and uh, my own preferences i definitely won't put on here um they might not be the um most christian thing <laughs> i don't know and maybe i've said too much already uh peace to you uh i am glad that you i actually am glad that we disagree on this a little bit it gives it gives something to talk about and i like that peace to you